Annual celebration honoring our troops and veterans was underway in Northumberland County today. A parade kicked off all home days in Elysburg. As Newswatch 16's Suzanne Goldklang shows us, this year the focus was on those who served and gave their lives in Korea. It's a 94-year-old tradition passed from generation to generation. You know, those guys put their lives on the line for us and we all need to be thankful as Americans. After the First World War, all home days in Elysburg welcomed the troops back. But it's now a chance for anyone who grew up here to return for a taste of small town central Pennsylvania life. Jim Adams brought his wife, daughter and grandkids all the way from Illinois. Yeah, we used to be in this parade all the time, so which was like 50 years ago. Different families have different ways of celebrating all home days. Some have picnics, but these guys have a Civil War reenactment in their own backyard. Many of the older families in the area have ancestors who served in the Civil War. Uh, sixth generation to live here. Uh, my family's lived here since the day it was built, and uh, I'm just the next in line. Over at the Ralpho Township Community Park, the focus was on a more recent conflict. This year, the Field of Honor pays tribute to the Korean War, which ended six decades ago. Each of the star-spangled flags represents 600 lives that were lost. If you walk this field of honor and you're touched by one of these flags, feel privileged because it's a soul who died in Korea saying thank you for remembering them. Korean War vets like Eugene Machusik sometimes feel forgotten. There's a lot of times that you see things in the papers and Korean veterans are just left out. They just skip over them. But that's the way it is. So he's grateful that this is one place his service is never overlooked. Suzanne Goldklang, Newswatch 16, Northumberland County. This is